welcome once again so this video what i'm going to teach i'm going to teach about the ngrok ngrok is a cross-platform application that enables developers to share their local server into the internet so they can share from any point so if you're new just subscribe and hit the notification in order to do this just create an account at ngrok just visit ngrok.com i'll share the link in the description so just create then login for me i have already logged into my account when you log in this is what you'll get now you can just click download for windows if you're a windows user and if you are using other other oases this is what you should be downloading so after you inst you download the zip file which the zip file will be located on your downloads after creating the uh, downloading the zip file this is what you'll get so then just extract the zip file uh, extract the zip file then you will get this folder then navigate through it then copy that exe file uh, then come back to come back to local disk c for me here then you can just create a folder which will name it as ngrok you'll just come here and create a folder that will name it as ngrok for me i had already created a folder which i've named it as ngrok so create a folder then paste that uh, paste that xc that you copied here so it will appear like this then come here to this folder then click there then copy this url this folder url then come here to your setting and then search for environment and env environment edit the environment setting here you can just click this when you write environment it will that's what will appear then you can just click here at um, environment variables then after creating environment variables you navigate to this path so path double click it then when you double click it you can just come and add new then paste it there for me i'd already pasted so i'm not going to add it again then just do this then you can just click ok ok then ok then you close then when you come in order to test if it has been set correctly you can just come here then do this then write angrok angrok you can see now that's how it means that ngrok has been installed in our machine so uh, now i'm going to show you on how you can just uh, you can share your local project for me here i have this uh, application which is uh, named as uh, uh, kjp so in order to do this i need first to set up the ngrok to be linked to my account which i have created here so in order to do this you will uh, you will we, we what we have done this is the steps that you are going to follow we had already unzipped and and zipped the ngrok then we placed it on the path then we added it to the environment so in order to do this you will come to your account you will get this api key this api key will uh, just going to copy it then do this after you have copied it you can just come to your here to your to you can just open cmd like that then just do that then you will just do that it will link to your it will link to your to your account when you have just done this after you have installed it will link to your account then you can just come to the step two where you we will we will do this this step two you can skip the this which is in top you can come to this angro http http port 80 so this is how we are going to tunnel our application so in order to do this we will do uh, we'll just come in and write angrok then we are going to write http we're going to write http angrok then http what http then you are going to write 80 80 means it's the port that you want to write so as we are tunneling, tunneling it to port 80 so when you do you just do this you will get this it's online this is the now you will find here there's a url this is the url that you will share and you can share it to your account so you can see from here this is alvin kiveu then you can see this is what so alvin kiveu is getting the account from the account that i've linked it with so i can just copy this url then I can do this. I can come and uh, I've turn on your server for me for PHP. You can just turn on your server. Then you can just come here. Then do this. Enter. When you enter, you will see it will redirect to the ZAM file, the ZAM folder. So it means this URL. I can share it with another person. Then you'll get the same. So in order to get the exact place, you can just copy this KJP. 
uh, sorry this cage up here i can copy that then i can come here and just paste it there and you can see now you can see this project has run to this when i share this url to any of my friends or if i share it to anybody you can see he can see the same page that i am getting and uh, if i make any changes he will also receive on its end so that's how you install and share your a local project to other developers using ngrok just if you like such kind of content just subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so when i upload you can get it so see you in my next video